Hey guys, Interface Zero here with iEnthusiast doing another iPhone app review. Today we're going to be taking a look at the awesome task manager app called ToDo. You can see here on the uh, bottom right of my uh, iPhone screen. So let's go ahead and jump right in. Go ahead and launch the app. This is the brand new 2.0 version that was just recently released. Um, as you can see when you first launch the app, if you have syncing uh, set up, it'll go ahead and sync with the uh, computer system that you have set up. Um, the app supports syncing to a PC uh, running Outlook or to a Mac uh, with iCal um, and also a couple of other uh, web um, options for that you can sync and back up to the Tutalu service um, and we'll get to that a little bit further in the review um, as you can see here on the home screen after your initial sync um, it defaults to the today tab over here um, so today I have a one task and that's to do video review which I am doing now um, just to give you a little overview of the layout um, you can see all your calendar tabs over on the left hand side and you can scroll through them um, again today is defaulted you can click on the all tab to see all pending tasks um, start anything you have starred you can narrow it down to your home calendar work sites or make additional calendars a birthday calendar um, to rearrange these tabs you can actually just push and click and hold you get this nice little pop-up um, you can edit calendar change the color show and all hide rearrange a couple of other options we can go ahead and click the hide rearrange button and again here are our calendars as you can see I have a few of them off um, we're able to rearrange these uh, as desired um, I'm, I like that order there in so I'll leave it um, again we're gonna go back to our today and I have one task for today now if you were to turn your device into landscape mode you actually get rid of that bottom tab bar so it makes a little bit of free space and up on this top uh, toolbar you can see that we now have that little calendar icon next to the edit button if you click that it will actually throw you to a calendar um, and you can see tasks that need to be completed we can change our months and so on and so forth um, today we have the one item to do so we can close back out if you actually go over to the all tab and jump back in the calendar you'll actually be able to click uh, through the days and see the tasks that need to get done you can tell you have a task for a certain day by the little underscore below, below the date um, again so that's a nice little feature go back into portrait mode tab bar pops back up um, so here you can edit task uh, you know uh, you can mark them as completed delete them whatever you'd like you can also add a task so I'm just gonna give you a, go a little bit more into detail here uh, these little items with boxes here are actually to do items the application actually also supports um, projects which you can see by the little briefcase on this last managers meeting to do and also checklist which the one right above that the get paint supplies is actually a checklist and so you can tell that by that little checklist icon along with the little number right next to it that shows how many items are on that checklist or how many items are on this project um, so you can tell the difference there you're also able to define a kind of priority per task so high medium low none or actually star it um, so as you can see this first to do video review is high this post to do review is listed as low and so on and so forth um, so let's go ahead and jump into how to create a new task you click on the nicely large button on the top toolbar okay so we can go ahead and name this so let's just name this uh, I don't know say hi to every 
okay we can add an action which is a nice feature in this app uh, we can either set it to call somebody text email browse a URL visit a location or Google something uh, I don't need any of those for this particular to do uh, add a note the type again that supports to do's checklist and projects uh, allows you to select which calendar you'd like it on a due date so I'll just set this one for tomorrow um, you can set a location or add audio to this to do I'm actually going to select the more options and set a time for this this is a really nice feature it defaults to the current time as you can see it's 11 25 p.m. so they default to that time um, you can actually just click and drag these little clock hands to change the time that you want it to be due. So if I want it at 12.15 a.m. on that date, I can just move those. I can also go to the little slide picker and change the time that way. Nice little feature. Just click done. Okay, create this to do. Don't have any more to do's to add, so we cancel out of that. And there you can see it pop right up say hi to everyone now I don't know if you noticed but down in the tab bar on that nearby it actually showed a little too and it just disappeared that's one really cool feature of the uh, 2.0 update so you can click on this nearby it'll get your location as noted by the little location icon in my status bar and it'll sh automatically show you any to do's or checklist or projects that are within the general vicinity where I am located at the moment um, so these two tasks here no matter when they're uh, set whatever date they're set for however far in the future um, they actually come up just to let me know hey you're nearby these two locations that you've specified you know you might want to complete these tasks it's a really nice feature you can also click on the little map icon down at the bottom it'll actually show you a map um, the little blue dot is where I currently happen to be and the two red pins are the two tasks that are at the top list so I can click on a pin and it will actually show me which uh, task that is so my manager meeting and so I click on that one get paint supplies at Lowe's so that's a really nice feature um, just makes it handy if you happen to be out you know want to see if there's anything that you can complete since you're out and about um, this will let you know what's nearby let's go ahead and go back okay so you have all your items here once you complete one I'll go ahead and mark this to do video review that's due today as complete since I'm in the process of doing it you can just click the little checkbox there and you get a nice little animation of a pencil drawing a line through it because it's completed you'll notice that the today tab over here has also been updated without the um, notification icon has been removed and the to do bar at the bottom has actually uh, updated its number another ni nice little feature is you tap that to do button again it'll hide the tabs tap it again and it'll bring them back again nice little review nice little feature I'm sorry and so let's go ahead and continue as I mentioned earlier there's plenty of sync options as you can see I've made two changes while on my device the application will ping whatever computers I have synced to it which in this case is my iMac and it lets me know hey you have two changes that need to be synced so all I do is click the sync now button and it'll sync those over so we're always up to date on all of our devices um, to get this set up you actually just go over to the setup tab go through this sync method which is again supported by Mac or PC and also the Tutelio uh, website which not only supports syncing your tasks but also backing them up to a website um, I am currently paired with my computer my iMac and a little uh, details on how to get this set up and click done again you can there's multiple backup options you can back up to your email um, you can restore via a browser from previous backups or you can set up the auto backup feature that comes in really handy um, and the application is actually able to be customized um, you know, a whole lot to satisfy your liking um, I'm just gonna go through a couple of the uh, setting features so again you're nearby you can set it to uh, max distance in this case 10 kilometers 
you can change that setting higher or lower however you see fit for your your taste badges you can control what gets badged the calendar tabs the uh, tab bar tabs so on and so forth um, appearance the application actually does come with a few different themes uh, the default is the wood theme which I prefer but let's go ahead and just change that to denim click back over to our calendar you'll see that that top toolbar change and a little bit of the coloring change in the app also I'm gonna change that back again just my own preference you can change the font size font style to suit your uh, whatever is better for you to read easier for you to read um, you can import birthdays export your to do's and go into the advanced settings um, the application does support local push notifications on devices with 4.0 or higher and the normal Apple push notifications Apple push server notifications on devices prior to that um, the good nice thing with local notifications is that it doesn't use as much battery um, if the Apple servers are down it doesn't matter because they're local um, you'll get a nice little pop-up whenever you have a to-do that's coming up um, again a nice little app very well designed nice little animations when your marking items is done um, what I oh so just let me go into let's say this uh, list here so as you can see once you click on it get paint supplies I actually have a list of items that I need to buy um, so I got the paint got the brushes uh, got the tarp couldn't find any painters tape so I'll just leave that one there and go back you'll see that four actually updates to a one which is nice um, so you, I know I only have one more item to get from that list um, as I mentioned earlier you can set a iPhone action or an action to a certain task so in this case I have a get storage for this coming Monday and I need to call um, I don't actually have a phone number set up for this one but if I did I could tap that call button and it'll automatically call um, let's look at this project project is very similar to task um, you can set up different items that need to be handled for that project and mark them as done um, as you go along completing those tasks um, again everything updates in real time the app is very fluid nice animations throughout um, the syncing is nice you sync to your computer you're always up to date if you're really the kind of person that's very busy and needs to have a to-do application a uh, you know something that'll help you get a little bit more organized and mark things off as you as you complete them then this is really a great option I've tried a lot of the to-do apps a lot of the task manager apps on the App Store both free and paid and this has to be the best one um, till now um, the 2.0 update is really nice uh, again you know the entire app is fluid beautiful transitions beautiful animations um, I highly recommend it there is two different versions there's a light version that is free um, doesn't have all the a lot of the pro features and there is a, a full app which I believe is $3.99 US on the App Store um, it, again it's definitely worth the $3.99 especially if you are the type of person uh, that needs this kind of app I could not recommend it in enough it, it's really a great app um, again you know as part of iEnthusiast we try to let our users know uh, what's good and what's not and this is a definite must have for uh, task oriented um, people so check it out let us know what you think in the comments and um, again thanks